Cause or cross-origin resource sharing is blocked in most modern web browsers by default. Installing this add-on will allow you to unblock this feature. All you go ahead and do is click to add this to your browser as an extension. Upon doing so, we can then pin this to the browser tab. And here we see it in the toolbar. Now, the first thing we need to do is we can go to the test cause page to see if this is now working. If we go ahead and try a test, we will see that this is blocked. This is because we first need to activate the actual extension with the toggle here, and you have the options for on and off. When the toggle is on, you will see the icon lit up both here and inside the browser toolbar. Now when we go ahead and test this, we can see it does indeed work. And it works by default for the git, put, post, head, delete and options. The extension also comes with a handy options panel. If we go ahead and click on the extension in the toolbar, we can then go to the options panel. Within here, we see certain other options. For example, here we can actually define what values we wish to allow. So for example, if we take away the options value, we can then go through the list, try the git value, put, post, head, delete, options. And notice that it's now blocked the options here. So this is fully customizable in terms of what header uh, access methods we're going to allow. We'll just add this back in place. What it also allows us to do as well is to set a whitelisted domain. Now what this does is it basically says allow cores on every domain apart from the ones that we list here. So if we go ahead and grab the domain here and we go ahead and save these details. When we go back and we try this, you'll see this is now blocked. We can also toggle this via the menu here of add or remove whitelist. When this is, has the blue highlight on it, this means the domain name is currently inside the whitelist. When we click it and it's no longer highlighted, it's no longer in the whitelist. And as you can see, the cause effect is working correctly. And it's as simple as that to control this extension. As I say, you toggle it on and off inside the browser here. You then have the extra options to define the certain requests that you will allow. And then you have the ability to whitelist domain names as well to stop it happening there. All in all, this is a simple and effective extension to use with inside your browser.